What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some updated competitive classes for S and D. I know you guys have been wanting that since they updated and they banned a few things. So, starting off, and by the way, I'm gonna have an another character with some S and D classes because I haven't bought the 10 class slot yet on Xbox One. So stick around at the end for that. So, first class, this one never ever changes. It's always been the same. It's my AR Slayer. And basically, it's just got, you know, a blue dot with muzzle break and then nade. And then, of course, ready up, agility, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. And I'm not going to go into the specialist bonus because that's all just whatever you guys want to use. So I'll let you pick that for yourself. But this class is just a good all around class. It's good for getting a pre nade. It's good for getting into position with an AR. It's just, it's, it's an all around good class. Next class is the exact same thing except it has grip on it, and this class is one that I've been using more often. For some reason, grip has just been feeling better for me. I've been hitting my shots more. I mean, I know you know it re it reduces recoil, but um, this is just kind of I, I go back and forth between the AR slay and AR grip quite a bit. Uh, they're both good for getting set up on long range sites and shutting down choke points, things of, like that. Next one is a fairly new class and this one's really weird it's my AR rush class and I've actually got another one but that's in the in the extra classes at the end here but this one I've got the three attachments on and I've got a Remington with blue dot muzzle break and grip and then I've got a P226 with muzzle break and extended mags and then for perks I've got ready up agility dead silence focus and then the three attachments perk and this class what I basically use it to do is right off the break I'll switch over to my pistol and run and then switch weapons and get ready and you might be thinking well why not just have a sub rushing class and then change classes this, the reason is because this class is one that I use when I need to rush to a spot but by the time I'm there I can't either I can't switch classes or if I switch classes I'm going to die because I'll be out in the open most likely and you know when you switch classes you stop sprinting for a little bit sometimes so this is just kind of for that um there's a freight rush that i like to use this on there's actually a few freight rushes that i like to use it on i use it on warhawk as well for mid street sometimes so things like that and then the next class is called warrior and that is because um we faced an absolute warrior that used this it was absolutely insane so i'm i've been trying it out and it's been working pretty good Basically, vector with muzzle break and grip, and then ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, dead silence, and focus. And what this class is basically for is rushing and getting those first blood picks if you don't have a sniper going. It's just, I don't have any stuns or nades, so I'm not quite as helpful there, but this class, like, you don't die. Like, you can melt people with ARs across the map. You can get people in close quarters because you got the steady aim. It's just, an, th this is what you want to use if you're host, pretty much. If you're a host warrior, this would be an amazing class to use. Next one is my MTAR. I've got the MTAR with muzzle break, grip, and then a Simtex, a smoke, and then ready up agility, marathon, dead silence, and focus. Uh, this is one that I like to use to try and throw people off, or I'll use it on Octane if we're going to smoke the B or A cross, and then, you know, cross because it's a longer range map so mtar is a little bit better i find um yeah this one is also good for just throwing smokes in random places to try and bait enemies out um it's a all-around good class you can of course change the smoke if you want but i i prefer to have smoke on it next one is my regular vector class i've got a blue dot with grip and then a simtex and then a stun and then ready up agility marathon dead silence and focus You'll see me using this one quite a bit in a lot of my videos. Um, I use it for pre-nades, pre-stuns, and you know, just running around. I like this class because of the grip. Um, I don't like to use the blue dot and then muzzle break so far on the vector. I find it just really messes with your aim a lot. So you know, because grip has really saved me quite a few times in those long-range engagements. I recommend it, although. It, you can use muzzle break if you just got that sub shot. I mean, for me, I'm an AR player, so I struggle some with the sub. So that's probably why I use a grip over that. All right, getting into the extra classes here. So we got the second AR rushing class, and this one's slightly different. Um, this one, I've got the Remington, blue dot, grip, P226, 
with muzzle brake and then a stun, then ready up, agility, marathon, dead silence, and focus. And this class is one where I need, if I need to get there a little bit quicker, because if you noticed on the other one, I didn't have um, marathon on it. So this one is for getting there even quicker, basically. There's a couple rushes that use this class. Um, usually I'm too lazy to change it, though, because I don't have the 10 classes. But if I had 10 classes, I would be pulling this one out about as often as the other AR Russian class. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on the other one as well is that, if you notice, there's no quick draw on it. I find you really don't need quick draw on an AR right away. Like, you can do without it. I actually like my aim a lot better without quick draw. It's just you got to be a little more careful on the gunfights you choose because, you know, they can just instantly get their gun up and kill you. So you got to be a little bit careful. Next one's also kind of a weird class. It's a Honey Badger class. And um, it's got Grip and Bullet Penetration and then Smoke and then Ready Up, Agility, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, and Focus. This is a fun class to pull out for like one or two rounds and just throw people off. Um, it's good on Sovereign. It's good on Freight. You know, good for those wall bangs, especially since it has the silencer built in. You know, they don't see you or anything. Um, this is not one you want to use the entire game, probably, though, because, you know, you do have reduced damage because of the silencer and everything. But this was actually my favorite gun when the game came out. I really like it. Um, this is just a fun little curveball strat class that you can use for every now and then. Next one is my shoddy class, and basically here I got the FP6 with muzzle brake and grip, and then the P226 with muzzle brake, stun, ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, and dead silence. Of course, you don't need focus on a shotgun. And basically, guys, what you need to be aware of here is on the FP6, you need, like, okay, the steady aim, you know, a with the bulldog, you would run around and you would just steady aim shoot everybody, right? You can do that with the FP6, but if you have the chance, I would recommend aiming in on it because it's a little bit harder to get kills with the FP6 over the Bulldog, and since Bulldog's banned now. But, um, yeah, you just gotta kinda work with it, you gotta get used to it, figure out what ranges are gonna be, you know, a steady aim is gonna be a one-shot kill, and when you need to zoom in to get the one-shot kill, uh, it just takes some practice and getting used to. Next one is my sniper class, and I actually, I'm going to be completely honest, I don't ever use this class because Levi has become the sniper for us. He is amazing with that sniper now, so I don't pull it out, but this is, as far as I'm aware, this is pretty much the class he uses, and it's the L115 with variable zoom and then bullet penetration, and then the P226 with muzzle brake, and then ready up, agility, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. And, yeah, it's it's a really good class. Um, he's actually the one that recommended to me to take off Chrome Line and put on Bullet Penetration. He doesn't like how it bounces up with Chrome Line. And he's been doing really well. He's been getting the first bloods in our duo all the time. So I would trust him on that. So those are my classes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. One last thing, by the time this goes up, I probably will have reached 5K subs, and I will probably have reached... 200k views if that's the case thank you guys so much i'm going to try and make a special video for it i don't know what i'm going to do quite yet if you guys have suggestions leave that below but as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what i can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out